everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, look what I have for you guys. So in today's video, guys, you will see that we have this massive box full of Finn Balor figures. And why is that? That is because my brother finally brought over all the Finn Balors over to the new house. You know, that's why they haven't been in any of the room tours. You haven't seen a Finn Balor shelf or anything. That is because they have all been at my old house. But now they are finally safe, safe and secure at the house. Cannot wait to uh, get in here. I'm going to take each individual one out and show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so due to time constraints, I've already removed all of the Ballards out of their plastic baggies just to make sure that, you know, I'm not freaking taking them out, having to take them out of the baggies, then show you. I just figured I'd lay them all out and go through them with you guys. A lot of you have already seen a lot of these, maybe even all of them before. This is including all of my custom fantasy ones that I have made, you know, the MDT custom fantasy Finn Balor's that we did each month. I haven't been able to do one for the last two months of April and May because I actually do not have the parts to do so. So um, I'm working on getting that and I will catch up on the months uh, for those Finn Balors. But let's go ahead and get started right here at the top left. So the first Finn Balor we have right here, guys, is the Punisher Prince Devitt. This is obviously one of the attires he rocked in the indies. In WWE, you know, you can never do the Punisher look because, you know, it's copywritten by Marvel and Disney and all that ish. So you couldn't do that. But uh, the Punisher is my favorite Marvel character, so this is definitely one of my favorite uh, Finn Balor paints or Prince Devitt paints that he has ever worn. It's just so beautiful. This custom was made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Down here we have my white Phantom Fantasy MDT Custom Finn Balor. Got the white and black all mixed in. I love the color white. It's my favorite color. And with the contrasting of black mixing through and that ghost sort of f uh, face paint with a white sleeve and the design is just so beautiful. I love that custom a lot. Probably one of my favorite fantasy ballers I've ever done. Down here we have the Wrestle Kingdom 11, no, Wrestle Kingdom 9 maybe. Uh, Prince Devitt, I'm not sure on which one. I'm sure people will crucify me. If you guys know, it's either Wrestle Kingdom 9, 10, or 11. I can't remember which, but uh, this is sort of his carnage attire with the purple trunks. I don't believe it. I believe that uh, Finn Balor has said himself that uh, it wasn't supposed to be anything like Carnage. It just sort of turned out that way, but that's what everybody calls it. Over here we have the Freddy Krueger Devitt. I don't exactly remember where he wore this attire, but it was in the independent scene. Got the custom sweater on there. Forgot to mention, this was also made by Cut, uh, Showstopper Custom Figs. This one was as well. It looks so beautiful. He nailed that. It looks just like Freddy Krueger. And he actually replaced this hand right here with a NECA figure's hand so that he could have the Freddy glove and knives. Above that is another one of my favorite Finn Balors. It is the Venom Prince Devitt attire that he wore in the indies. And with the Venom movie coming out, guys, this is just so sick. I mean, you can see the face of Venom right there. It just looks so freaking sweet. I love the symbiote going over his uh, chest there. And that is also one of my favorite attires. I love the white on the outsoles as well. Just think that all ties together, the attire. Right here we have the Spawn Prince Devitt attire. Not, uh, you know, my favorite attire, but uh, Showstopper Custom Figs knocked this out of the park. He uh, also made that Venom one right there, and just his paintwork is so clean that it really makes this attire come to life. Right here we have the Custom MDT Fantasy Finn Balor Terminator. You know, you guys even saw me do like a tutorial on YouTube on how I did this. And this is one of my favorite fantasy attires as well. I just love this, how you have, you know, his skin, uh, the metal robot showing through the skin. I just think that's so freaking beautiful. Got the silver and black tying it together. Next, we have the Finn Balor Prince Devitt, looking beautiful, made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Just the pure work of Showstopper is just freaking fantastic. And you can even see that he sculpted um, the face stuff on his mouth right there. And that's because Finn Balor, actually, or Prince Devitt, I should say, actually had makeup applied with latex and stuff that, you know, they using uh, the movies to uh, you know get that look on the Joker Heath Ledger so that's where that is from. Down here we have probably my favorite Finn Balor in my entire collection. It is the NXT TakeOver The End Finn Balor where he took on Samoa Joe in the steel cage. First ever NXT steel cage match for the title. Obviously he would come up short and I just love this. We got this in basic form from Mattel, but I don't think it compares to the Elite, guys. It's just so much better. It's so beautiful. Showstopper, again, coming through with a beautiful Balor. Next up, we have the Grinch Fantasy MDT Finn Balor. Really didn't really know where I was going with it. You know, it's just got a sort of got a uh, Grinch face paint, lime green sleeves, Christmas trunks, red knee pads, and then he has the Kobe 7 Christmases on his feet because I'm a huge Kobe and shoe fanatic. So I threw him on my uh, Grinch Finn Balor. 
Next we have my custom Pennywise Finn Balor fantasy attire from the MDT. This is the one that started it all. This is the one that kept up all of the uh, fantasy attire Finn Balors from each month. And um, I really love this one. It was the first one, so it's always going to be sentimental. Up here we have probably the, I think it's the most recent one that I did. It is this lime green demon uh, Finn Balor attire. really love the chest and how it came out with the lime green, black, and white. I just think those colors really pop off nicely. And it just looks so sick. All those details there in the chest. I'm proud of myself on that one. Over here we just have an, a regular Elite 46 Finn Balor figure right there from Mattel. We got the Mutant Finn Balor over here. We have the Elite SummerSlam Finn Balor from SummerSlam 2016 where he won the Universal Championship. And then we have the NXT TakeOver Dallas Elite Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive Finn Balor. And here's the last fantasy Finn Balor that I did, uh, or in this video at least, it is the Batman Finn Balor. You got the Batman logo on the chest, the cape. The Evan Bourne kick pads really ties that one together. I really love that. I added the gray in there with the Neville kick pads. Uh, really love the Batman one. I would like to get BEW to redo the head, maybe uh, shrink up the mask a little bit just to see what we can do with that. Um, but I am overall happy with it, and BEW really helped me out on that one. And then the final one that we have, guys, is the Anti Venom Prince Devitt, and I really love this one. The white and black. It's just like the uh, uh, Phantom Attire over here, the Fantasy. It's just so good. The white and black is such a good contrast. It's got the Anti Venom logo on there, and that face paint is absolutely ridiculous. White kick pads just look so freaking sweet. I would love to see Finn Balor rock the white more often. I know he did it at a live event, but uh, he needs to wear it on the main roster at an actual pay-per-view. But that pretty much does it for all of the Finn Balors that we had in the big old box here today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Comment down below your favorite Finn Balor from this collection. If you have any fantasy Finn Balor ideas for the coming months, please let me know down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.